Hello everybody, this is Barry, That Goat Metal Show, episode 99. Yes, I'm doing another car edition, because uh, basically it's like the only time I'm really going to have some time to myself. I mean, I try to do it at home, uh, got the animals, got family walking back and forth, you know, so I think, you know what man, this is going to be the only time I really get a chance to really... Um, talk and discuss some of the things that I want to discuss and uh, I can be free about it. Even though, you know, I'm driving and this is kind of dangerous, so I don't recommend everybody to do it. Uh, I was uh, just reminiscing on some things. A few things popped up <clears throat> and uh, one of the things that popped up was uh, today. Today is Veterans Day and uh, again, I want to wish... Um, I want to say a happy Veterans Day to all the vets, all the men and women who serve, my son, my sister, Army and Air Force, you know, I uh, want to thank you for your service, I love you guys. Um, basically, uh, today also marked 13 years since Rodimentus had our last show. At the pyramid, where we performed uh, the the benefit show for uh, Milton, that was our last the last show we ever performed live on stage. And um, my friend Richie was the one who sent me the fly uh, picture of the flyer, and um, you know, kind of threw me for a loop. Like, damn, I can't believe it's been 13 years since you know we played. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of great memories. Uh, of course, you know that 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 day, you know we we, we did it to uh, to raise some money for uh, for Milton's daughter. Uh, I believe that day we raised eh, about seven hundred twenty-seven dollars or something like that. Uh, it was us for the chamber uh, project mayhem, uh, Mickey's crew, Billy Club sandwich. Yeah, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, when I get when when I hook this up, I'm gonna put the link in the bottom of uh, some some parts of that show, and um, you know it's, it was a good show. You know it was a good show. Um, great cause. Missed you, Milk. All right, and um, another thing that's been popping up too was um, was um, some more memories. Um, uh, I got to listen to, uh, a pod, uh, real good podcast called This Is Hardcore, right? And uh, I heard two episodes, one that had Kevin Castle, the man who, who, uh, basically was the forefront of allowing Golden to play great shows, oh, Kevin a lot, and, uh, Phil, Phil Vibes from Irate. Uh, talking about his new band with his son, Nando, uh, Knights of the Black. Knights of the Black. Great, great, great brutal shit, guys. You really need to. I'll, I'll leave the link for that one, too. You definitely got to check that shit out. Awesome stuff. Uh, it's called, um, I think it's called The Blackest Harvest, The Horror of Haydenfield, which is a homage to uh, Michael Myers. Great stuff. Brutal. Uh, I'm just excited to, to hear that, that that brutality coming back again. It just got me so excited. And uh, when you guys get a chance, you really got to check that shit out. You're going to love it. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk about was um, they were talking about Castle Heights. And, um, you know, the, the, the memories that I have for Castle Heights is nothing but pleasant memories. It might have been one snafu. You know, maybe one memory, I, you know, of Castle Heights that I wasn't really too too keen on. I, you know, I won't really mention it here because I don't think that, you know, that person <laughs> deserves his name and stuff thrown in the mix. But, you know, but other than that one time, I always had nothing but great, great, great days in Castle Heights. And Kevin was the man who put us out there and uh, he... He had us, every time there was a good, sh a decent show, he had no problems hooking us up. Um, you know, um, we even opened up for the record release party for Mastodon. 
yeah, I, you know, I have things about Mastodon that I wouldn't want to talk about either, but I was great. We were grateful for that opportunity and uh, the fact that we were a staple in that history to uh, to play a, a great show like that. You know, we, we, we played well. I, I, I believe we have, I have that show um, thrown in there. I'll throw it on too. Yeah, I want to see how we performed when we opened up for Mastodon. Um, but I, th- I heard him mentioning something about, you know, hopefully maybe doing some type of reunion, uh, Castle Heights reunion. That would be fantastic. Um, everybody who played there was like family, you know, everybody, you know, and, and if you've never played there before, we treated you like family. It was a great environment, great times. Um, you know, it's a shame that uh, a place like Castle Heights had to be taken away from us. Uh, it was a good place to go, watch great bands play. I mean, it was such a staple that bigger bands started going in there to play because, you know, it, just, it was just a great draw, right? And uh, I'll always have great memories of Castle Heights and uh, for, for what they did for my band. So, um, you know, I, I know I got some videos up um, when we played Castle Heights and some of the bands that played in Castle Heights, I think I have Irate, I have Blackout. There's a couple of Golden Mentor shows there. Um, you know, check it out. You know, give a look. You know, give, give yourself some good memories. You know, it's a lot of the people who played there. I want to thank you guys. Um, great bands played through there, and I hope to uh, one day run into these guys again. I still talk to a lot of the bands, and, and a lot, you know, a lot of them are really good friends. Um, I just hope that uh, everybody's doing well, all right? And uh, that's pretty much it for now. You know, it was just something I needed to get off. You know, it was good hearing those two podcasts, um, Phil and Kevin. Uh, you guys keep it going. And uh, Phil and uh, Knights of the Black, guys, get on that. Get on that. Get on that. Trump, tell me, get on it. All right? So this is Barry. That gold medal show, another driving edition. And uh, hopefully we'll get another one going soon. Um, and maybe, you know, better stuff on the way. All right, guys, be safe. Happy Veterans Day to all the vets. My son, my sister, I love you guys. And uh, stay brutal. <laughs>